So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, we're going to continue with the real-time dataset example that we had on Monday. Link down below. If you haven't seen that, go and check that out first. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. So go check that out and then come back here. So what we're going to do is, if you try the example, you'll see that because we have historical data on, it records 200,000 points, and after a while, this is from last week, you'll see that the space station has been all over the place, and where's Wally, right? I can't find the space station anywhere. So we need to limit to the last point. Really, that's the only thing we need. I actually like to see the pattern of the date, of, you know, where it navigates. I'll show you how to limit it to one day, too. So you can also see that. But... Yeah, then you were asking me about how to do the icon map. I'll show you that too. And uh, we're going to use flow to encode location. So I want to know where, like not latitude and longitude, that doesn't help me, but where in the world the space station is so we can tweet about it. And then you can just look up, take a picture and send it to them. How about that? Cool, right? Okay, first things first. Um, here's the thing, you were asking me, how did I do to put an image on the map? And this is a custom visual. It is called Icon Map and is the same person that created the KPI stuff and the URL, James, is the owner of this. So how about you go with the Twitter, um, his Twitter handle is here, and you tweet him to add this to the maps. That would be fantastic. So we don't have to have a custom visual. So this, it works well. You have to play with the size of the ball because otherwise sometimes you don't see it, but otherwise you have name, you need the category, otherwise you won't show. Uh, you need the icon. I just picked this from the internet, the URL. Latitude, longitude, and then icon size, and they will determine how big the image is. So that's it. It's just a custom, custom visual. We won't be able to use this custom visual in today's example because um, we cannot encode fields. I'll show you. Anyhow, so let's go to our issue. We have the encodings of the space station, and there are too many. We want just to have the last one. And you cannot create measures in Power BI, desk, Power BI service, so we need to import this into Power BI desktop. Okay, so we're going to open a, we're going to open a new one. Open a new. And I'm going to show you how it works. This was my test, and I'll show you everything so don't worry so i don't know if you know but you can connect to data sets that are stored in power bi service what i didn't know is that you can connect to real-time data sets too so if we go here and get data and then we go to power platform and then power bi data sets it will show you all the data sets that you have on your tenant and here we're going to search no, 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 space station, it was called. So this is the data set for the real-time data set. And here we have it, latitude, longitude, message, and timestamp. Now, put latitude and longitude, we put the icon map, and then again, this map requires do not summarize. There you have it. So here we have the traveling. One thing I learned playing with this is that if you think that you have too many data and you want to reset it, if you go to, let me show you. If you go to the actual, let's go to social sales reports, data sets, you go to the edit button and then you disable historic analysis, save and enable it again, it will reset the database. Okay, so if you want to get rid of data, that's one way. Not the best one, right? Unless you have a UA flow to do this manually, not the best one. So we're not going to do it like that. Let's go back to Power BI. So here we have tons of points. 
And we want to limit this by the last one. Now, the only thing that you have, if you look at the data, we have timestamp, which is daytime. We have message, latitude, and longitude, right? And to get the max of, of the time, the daytime, I haven't figured it out because it gives you the, the max. It will give you the max of the date, but not of the daytime. So one tip that you guys told me from the Discord channel, I'll show you. So this is our Discord chat. I will put a link down below if you want to join us. Here's a place where we just talk about Power BI. And on the YouTube videos feed, I have one here that it says, hey, if you use uh, the original timestamp, then you it is a number, so you would be able to filter by that. Thank you very much, because that is a great, great tip. And I also learned from Twitter what was the... Uh, what is that timestamp, which I didn't know either. So it was the Epoch Unix time, which is, uh, is counting dates from 1970s so, or something like that. Super cool, what you teach me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to here to the space station and we're going to add the epoch time. It's gonna be a number because it is encoded as a number. So we put it as a number and then we're going to go to our original flow and we're going to refresh that. Again, if you don't know what this is, go to the previous video link down below so you know what, what all this is and then we're going to put the uh, timestamp that they send us because it's sent it as a number and it is going to help us to do stuff so we're going to do save and then hopefully it is already in here otherwise it's just one minute waiting but no there we have it epoch time and you see here that it will be a number. This is empty. Well, it hasn't refreshed yet, but it will refresh in a minute. You will see that it's a number that it grows as the time stamp grows. So to limit our data set, let me see if we've got a new one. Not yet. To limit our data set, the only thing we need to do is go in here and put this as a folder with the last. And we already have the first one. Great. So we go to map controls. We don't want to auto zoom the same as before. And now we know there is our space station yay cool so latitude and longitude it is in the middle of the ocean here we have the first number okay and if we refresh it will start coming now as we're working with it so that is great now another thing that i want to do is that this gives me the latitude and longitude if it is in the ocean i don't care nothing to see there but I would like to have the location so we can tweet about it and the people can look up and see if they can see the space station, take a picture and send it to the astronauts there are today on the space station. How cool would that be, you know, so they don't feel so lonely up there. So for that, we need to know where. So few people can follow their account and say, hey, it is right now on my city. Look up and see if you can see it. How do we do that? We do that with flow. Let me show you. It's super cool. So we're going to go one step up and add an action. And we're going to do Bing uh, location. And you'll see how cool this is. So we have here uh, location by point. By point is by latitude and longitude. I know, not the easiest one. Now, how do you do Bing Maps? You need to have an account with Bing. So you need to go here, Bing Maps Portal, click on it. It will take you to Bing Maps Development Center. And here you will create an account. 
and then here on your account you will see my keys and it will give you a key once it gives you a key i've already done this you will see that the connector looks like this connection name is just a name put anything big maps hello is me whatever and then you have you put the api key that you got in here and then you are right there okay now Latitude and longitude. As you can see, latitude and longitude is not there because Bing Maps wants it as a string, while this JSON thing gets it as a no. Bing Maps wants it as a number, while the JSON thing wants it as a, a text. So this is what I did, and it works. Don't tell me why. So I change it to integer. And once I do that, you'll see that it shows here. So this is latitude and this is longitude. And then you need to change it back because if you don't change it back, you will get an error because these have to be encoded from string. Beyond me, it just works. <laughs> Trust me. Then it says include entity types, include neighborhood, country code, awesome. So now we have, it reads the JSON code, goes into Power BI, and now we're going to get the location. So cool. So the first thing we need to do is to add a location to the data set, right? Otherwise we don't get a place to put it. Done. Now we're going to go to flow and we're going to save. Let's give this a better name. Uh, where is save because we're going to refresh so it gets the new field right so now that it's saved we do a refresh reload now hopefully it remembers yes we here we have everything and here we should have now the location field come on baby so Let's do another <laughs> refresh. Maybe need some waking up. There you have it. Okay, so now we have the location in there. And now what I saw is that this address formatted address is the best one. The other ones won't give you. If you put your city, it doesn't give it to you. If you put a country, it doesn't. Some, sometimes it does. And in this case, we want people to look up. It's on my city. Look up and see if you can see the station, right? So that would be super cool. Now that we have this, we want to tweet about it. So here's the thing, space station. If we look at the map, dashboard, space station, you will see that more often than not, the whole the thing is going to be on the sea. So if it is in the sea, don't tweet anything. Why would you tweet blanks? So we need to have a condition here that says, uh condition there we have it and then here we have the address formatted address that we want if it is if you don't put anything or you put null it means if it is empty then do nothing if it's not then we want to tweet tweet Post a tweet and then tweet text. This is the one that I have running. I'm going to show you so I don't do it twice. But this is how it looks. This is already running. So it, you can see it says, hi, the uh, International Space Station here. I'm currently in. Mm? Can you see me? If you can, send me a tweet with a pic. See you again soon. And the account is... I think I'm logged in on that, so you should see it right away. So here, I am currently 18 minutes ago in Santa Cruz, Argentina. The name of this account is ISS location, or location ISS at. So there you can see where the thing is, so you can follow the account and then send the picture and you can tweet at state you i couldn't put an ad on here so but it's at space station and tweet a picture to the astronauts how cool is that now let's go to power bi we're almost finished 
So if we do a refresh here, a location should show up. There we have it. And now we can put location in here, right? And then here you have it, location as a legend. And we are going to publish that back to the service. So, you know, it worked for us. Save changes for sure. Save. Oh, the, the other one is open. I don't know if it's going to let me. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's close that one. And now publish. Save. Select. It only allows you to publish on the um, workspace that it comes from, right? So it comes from sales uh, report, so you can only publish it there. Success. So now we go in here and we have our report and we're going to pin that thing into our existing dashboard. Go there, get rid of the old one. and put in the new one. Bit bigger, and it is in there. I don't know why I don't see the point. Okay, <laughs> it's loading, okay. So now you see, only one point, we have location. I cannot use James custom map here because I'm not able to encode a, a URL. So you to be able to visualize an, an image, you need to have this as image and you're not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. So unfortunately, no custom icon, but still everything else we fixed. So we are good to go. Cool. So I really hope this post or this video was useful and it gives you answers to uh, how these uh, real time data sets work. Uh, I haven't found a way to change retention policy. I haven't got any uh, feedback from Microsoft. I'm guessing that you can't do that. But still, now we've fixed everything with a connected data set. And I'm super happy. Give it a go. Give it a go. Let me know how it goes. So I'll see you again on Friday. Until then, as always, take care. Bye-bye.